Let's explore some common collocations, those unique word combinations that make English rich and expressive. Hey everyone, I'm Mina. Thank you very much for showing up here. Learning collocations is the key to sound more fluent and natural. Let's begin with the first combination. Make a phone call. Make a phone call. Make a phone call. Imagine you need to talk to your friend who is far away. What do you do? You make a phone call. To call someone means to make a phone call. For example, I need to make a phone call to my mom. Or she made a phone call to her doctor. Up next is make a difference. Make a difference. Make a difference. Think of helping someone and changing their life to the better. What did you do? You made a difference. To have a significant impact means to make a difference. For example, I was about to make a decision. My friend's advice made a difference in my decision. Or volunteering can make a big difference in your community. Or a very common question in job interviews. How would you make a difference in our company? Next collocation on the list is take a seat. Take a seat. Take a seat. Imagine you enter a room and someone invites you to sit down. Then you take a seat. To sit down means to take a seat. Something you may hear in the hospital. Please take a seat and wait for your turn. Or he took a seat at the front of the class. Next is take a test. Take a test. Take a test. Picture being at school and it's exam day. What do you have to do? Take a test. To complete an examination means to take a test. Next collocation waiting for you is have a rest. Have a rest. Have a rest. You've been working all day and you're tired. You need to have a rest. To relax or take a break means to have a rest. I usually have a rest after lunch. Or she had a rest before continuing her work. Are you ready for the next one? It's have a good time. Have a good time. Have a good time. For example, you're going to a fun event. What do you hope to do? Um, to enjoy myself. Exactly. You hope to have a good time. To enjoy yourself means to have a good time. If you're going to a party, have a good time at the party. If you're going on a picnic, have a good time at the picnic. Have a good time. Enjoy yourself. Up next is do your best. Do your best. Do your best. You are preparing for a competition. You try as hard as possible. Put as much effort as you have in doing it perfectly. You do your best. When you try as hard as possible, you do your best. Just do your best and you'll succeed. Or John always does his best in his exams. Next collocation might not be your favorite. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Do the laundry. Think of your dirty clothes piling up. What do you need to do? You need to wash them. You need to do the laundry. How often do you do the laundry? For example, I do the laundry every Saturday. Next collocation is with the verb get. Get lost. Get lost. Get lost. Imagine you're exploring a new city and you don't know where you are. What happened? You got lost. To lose your way means to get lost. For example, he got lost while hiking in the mountains. 
or I got lost last year when I mm, traveled to Paris. Next collocation is get better. Get better. Get better. Imagine you're terribly ill. What do you want to do? You want to improve in health or a condition. You want to recover from illness. You want to get better. For example, you can say, I hope you get better soon. Or she got better after a few days of rest. Catch fire is the upcoming collocation. Catch fire. Catch fire. Picture a small flame spreading and growing bigger. What happened? Something caught fire. To start burning means to catch fire. For example, that old house caught fire last night. Or be careful not to let that paper catch fire. <music> Write down this common collocation. Give a speech. Give a speech. Give a speech. Imagine you're standing in front of an audience and talking about something important. What are you doing? You are giving a speech. To deliver a formal talk means to give a speech. For example, the manager gave a speech at the ceremony. Or she gave a speech about the climate change. Next collocation I have for you is a perfect one. Save money. Save money. Save money. If you put some of your earnings in a bank account, you are saving money. To keep money for the future use means to save money. For example, she is trying to save money by cooking at home. Or he is saving money for his vacation next year. Every month he is putting away some of his money for his vacation. If you are in a stressful situation, you need to keep calm. Keep calm. Keep calm. To stay relaxed, not to get angry or excited means to keep calm. It's important to keep calm during emergency situations. Or he kept calm and handled the situation perfectly. What do you do to keep calm in stressful situations? Comment your thoughts below. Next collocation is pay a visit. Pay a visit. Pay a visit. Picture going to see someone at their workplace or home. What are you doing? You are paying a visit. To visit someone means to pay a visit. For example, I try to pay a visit to my grandparents every month. Or she paid a visit to the museum. It means she visited the museum. Next collocation you need to know is tell the truth. Tell the truth. Tell the truth. Imagine there was a situation and now someone is asking you what really happened. What do you do? You need to tell the truth. You need to be honest and say everything. Always tell the truth, even if it is difficult. For example, he told the truth about the accident. He said everything about the situation to the police. Next important collocation is for those of you who are very busy. You need to find time. Find time. Find time. When you manage your busy schedule to do something important, you find time. To make time available for something means to find time. For example, I need to find time to exercise. Or she finally found some time to finish her project. Run a business is the next collocation. Run a business. Run a business. Most people's dream is to run a business. It means to manage a company or organization. For example, she runs a small bakery on her own. Or they run a successful tech company. 
Do you want to run your own company one day? Next collocation is make progress. Make progress. Make progress. It's something you try to do by watching this video. You're trying to improve your skills or knowledge. You're trying to move forward. You are making progress. For example, she's working really hard and making great progress on her project. I have a lot of videos on my channel to help you make progress on your learning journey. Remember, by learning these collocations, you are not only improving your English, you are gaining confidence and fluency. Make sure to repeat and practice using them in your conversations. Thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to get a notification for new uploads. Come back to learn more useful words to speak English better. See you in the next video.